Hello everyone. In the past couple of years, we have seen an increase in the number of smartphone manufacturing brands. For us, more brands mean more smartphone options to buy from. And each smartphone brand has a unique set of characteristics that they employ in their smartphones. These characteristics include hardware specifications, software specifications, and the customer experience. In most cases, the hardware and software specifications are more or less the same across devices or similar price range. But the customer experience is what has so far been a distinguishing factor for devices from different manufacturers. Most manufacturers these days release smartphones with a custom skin over an Android software version. This is mainly done to provide users with many customized features that the pure version of Android or the so-called stock Android does not provide out of the box. But these skins over the original Android software come at many compromises. First, since each brand has their own set of features and skins over the Android software, devices of the same brand may look and feel similar to each other, but devices of different brands look largely different in comparison. Second, because of additional code over the pure Android software, performance in these devices usually becomes slow. Third, writing code over the Android software takes a lot of time, effort and money by the manufacturing company. That makes the software version updates usually troublesome and expensive for these manufacturers. To remove such big problems and to restore users' trust in the Android operating system, Google had launched the Android One program in 2014. An Android One device operates on an unmodified version of Android, which these days is popularly known as the stock Android. Additionally, an Android One device gets promised two major Android version updates and monthly security updates for at least two years. That means that if you are currently running on Android version P, then you would definitely get Android updates for versions Q and R. The way this works is that Google has given some strict guidelines and constraints to manufacturers and vendors about how to go about building smartphone devices and their components. Once a device has been built by a manufacturer, Google will decide which of these smartphones will get the Android One certification. You can find out the list of Android One devices by going to www.android.com. It is probable that you would have not heard of Android One program before 2017, even though it has been around since the year 2014. Why is that? In the year 2014, the Android One program was announced in the keynote of Google's annual event called Google I.O. But the partner manufacturers in 2014 were not very good or popular. Also, phones like the Redmi One S had entered the smartphone market around that time and those devices were amongst the most hyped smartphones for that time. Again, in the year 2015, Google was unable to find good manufacturers, so it missed to meet the eyes of the audiences that year also, because these devices were costlier for their price in relative to the specifications that they offered. The Android One program gained popularity in 2017 when Google partnered with Xiaomi to launch Android One version of its successful device named Redmi 5X to the market that later came to be known as Mi A1. After that, many manufacturers became willing to run their devices on the Android One program. First, Motorola Moto X4 came out in the US, then HTC U11 came out in Germany, and so on. Soon, Nokia took the initiative to add intensely to the Android One lineup. The company successively launched Android One devices like Nokia 6.1, Nokia 7 Plus, Nokia 80 Co, etc. in the early 2018 and Nokia 6.1 Plus, Nokia 5.1 Plus, etc. in mid-2018. Phones from other manufacturers like MIA2, Motorola One Power and LG G7 One have also come up as Android One devices in late 2018. One thing to note here is that even though stock Android will be the running operating system in all these devices, Google does allow manufacturers some slack to make small changes to the original code for Android, mainly to add applications like health center, camera, etc. I have personally used several Android One devices over the past couple of months and my experience with updates and performance with these devices has been great. In fact, I am currently using Nokia 7 Plus as a daily driver and it was one of the first devices to get the Android Pie update after the Pixel devices of course. Also, it was one of the first devices to get the beta access to the digital well-being app made by Google after the Pixel devices. 
Although I have to also point out that I also own another Android one device, Mi A2, which has not yet got the Android Pie update. Note that Android Pie was launched at around 6 August 2018, and around the date of publishing this video, it will be over three months without the latest Android version update on this device. But I also have to add that this device does get monthly security updates, and that too on time. So actually it feels pretty weird that the device gets monthly security updates as soon as they come but it is months behind the schedule for the major android version update that was launched months ago. Well that's all from my side. I hope that this video helped you gain clarity as to what android one program is, what are its advantages and drawbacks. If you gained something out from this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more informative videos like this, I would suggest you to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and see you next time.